What is up, guys? Uh, I'm back with some more Linux videos. I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a while, but you know, I've, you know how it goes. Uh, today, I'm actually going to be showing you how to get the Aether mod in Minecraft. Which, for those of you who don't know, the Aether is like the opposite of the Nether, and you you get a bunch of cool new things like you. There's pigs with wings, cows that fly. Uh, you can ride on them too. You can ride on the on the flying pigs. You can also ride on these birds, uh, but you have to like catch them and tame them. But anyway, let's get started. I'll show you what you need. I'll show you how to do it, how to install the mod, and then you guys can play the Aether to your heart's content or whatever. But first off, you'll need uh, Minecraft.jar, and if you don't have that, I will uh, I'll put a link to one of my previous videos explaining how to install Minecraft in Linux Mint Cinnamon. I'm currently running the latest Linux Mint Cinnamon. Um, and you'll also need this aether.rar file, which is a package file. And I'll and I'll show you where to get that. I'll put a link in the description. You actually just go to this website here. But uh, like I said, I'll put a I'll put a link in the description for you guys. Don't worry. So first thing you need to do is you need to go to your files and you need to go to view show hidden files and we're gonna go to your minecraft file file your dot minecraft this is where your maps are saved your texture packs all that good stuff that make your minecraft go I've already got the mod loaded in my dot minecraft file so I'll delete it and I'll redo it for you um, I suggest you you back up your original minecraft you know where all your original worlds are and stuff because uh, you're gonna have to pretty much delete everything and start a whole new file so just make a backup of it you know make a file on your desktop and put the backup in there or something like that you know just just back it up so that way that way you don't blame me for your maps getting deleted um, what you do is you just go over here and right click and delete it and then you just close this out and run your minecraft.jar and you're going to have to log in whoops yep And what it's doing now is it's making a brand new .minecraft folder for you. Unmodded, untouched, fresh Minecraft folder. So just close it. And we're going to go back to files. And go back to view. Show hidden files. We're basically doing the same thing all over again. And now it's a fresh Minecraft file. There's nothing in it except regular Minecraft stuff. So then bring your uh, Aether.rar file over here, and don't don't extract it. Just double click it, and go to .minecraft, and now drag everything in the in this .minecraft in your other in your fresh .minecraft, and let it do its thing. And uh, also, guys, this too many items here. This is another mod. It's a really cool mod that gives you pretty much every item in the game, like uh, monster spawners and and uh, all that all that other cool stuff. So you're basically getting two mods here in one. So then, when that's done, close out of that, close out of that, and you're ready to start the Aether. Now, uh, guys, I don't know why, but it it uh, whenever you do the Aether mod, it reverts your minecraft all the way back to 1.0 I have no idea why uh, if any of you guys come up with a fix for this please let me know I'd love to do it because I don't like going back to 1.0 either but this is a pretty awesome mod I think in my opinion it's worth it so just now run your minecraft.jar like normal log in again And it's going to ask you if you want to update, and you just say not now. And there's the Aether. It's a brand new menu. It's it's uh, pretty cool. 
So just go single player and create a new world. I'll name it Aether Mint. Moint. The heck's a moint? Ah, creative. I like to, I like to cheat. I'm a cheater. So it looks like normal Minecraft, doesn't it? You say, oh, those pigs ain't got wings. To, to see the pigs with wings, you actually have to go to the Aether. And I'm not running the best computer out there, so let me go ahead and do this so I don't start lagging. Because uh, I'm recording and playing. That's a big thing on my computer. All right, so uh, here's your too many items. You pretty much have every item there you, you can think of you have uh, you can spawn fire water lava without buckets by the way you don't need buckets for that um, let's see you got ender portal frame enchantment tables uh, let's see if I can I'm trying to find the mon ah there it is and you have monster spawners too now the aether portal is the same as the nether portal the only difference is it's made with um, glowstone so let me see if I can find some some glowstone there it is. there's some right here you make it the same way it's the same amount of blocks And uh, instead of using fire to activate this portal, you have to use a bucket of water. I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I don't know if you can just spawn water on it or not. But I. I usually use just use a bucket. Check it out. And it might be a little bit laggy, guys, because I'm not. Run like I said, I'm not running the best computer, and I'm recording at the same time, so. Bear with me here. Give it some time to load up. Oh, I spawned in a dungeon. Oh. But yeah, this is the Aether. Uh, this is an unusual spawn point. I've never spawned in a dungeon before. Oh. I forgot to mention that there's chests that eat you, by the way. Just for those of you who don't know. And there's a whole bunch of cool new swords that you can get, too. So, yeah, this is the nether, guys. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think, uh, even though it puts you all the way down to 1.0, I think it's totally worth it. Um, there's a whole bunch of new, brand new bosses, brand new... Uh, Brand new everything, pretty much. Uh, but just go explore it, and uh, if you don't like it, that's why I had you back up your your old files, so that way you can just delete it and uh, get all your maps back. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, guys, I'm running out of... Uh, oh. I'm actually running out of ideas here. Um, I kind of need your help. If you uh, if you have something that you want to figure that you want me to figure out for you, I will study up on it and I will post a video out for you. So if uh, if I get enough requests for something, I will I'll post a video up. Uh, I need comments, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Just give me some ideas, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to have some more videos up. Uh, I, I might do a video on how on how you can uh, raise birds and ride them, but uh, that's it. Just rank, comment, subscribe. Uh
Oh, my computer's getting pretty hot because I'm not, like I said, I'm not running the best computer, but, uh, see ya.